ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम से राजू और भगवान सिस्टर वेंकम्मा वुड रिकॉल द तमिराज होम हैड बिकम ए होम ऑफ साई मेरिकल्स राजू वुड ग्रांड देम विजन्स ऑफ द गॉड्स एंड शो देम अदर थ्रिलिंग स्पेक्टेकल्स ऑन लॉर्ड कृष्णस बर्थडे Razu asked Tamirazu's wife Kameshwarama to keep a pitham a pedestal for an ideal a seat for the divine in the puja room and said that he would go over to give her darshan there that day and the next he blessed them with thrilling experiences well really unbelievable miracles happened there at Tamirazu's residence Here goes the narration. Bhagwan came and sat on the pitha in the puja room and asked all to come in and sit by his side. He then asked whether we did not desire to see the various leelas of previous births. When we welcomed the idea enthusiastically, he agreed to show them to us and all the family collected around. He ordered us to watch him, and would you believe that you may not until you yourself experience the same or similar miracles of Baba? We were thrilled by the form of Narayana on the ocean of milk, reclining on Vatapatra. We heard only word after word announcing the next form. The forms changed from one surprise to another in quick. succession we were given enough time to imbibe the beauty and the splendor of each form and to be struck by the spontaneous power of baba's sankalpa and where was baba our satya all the time he became gajendra raising his trunk to greet vishnu on the horizon krishna the cowherd boy leaning on a tree and playing the flute gopala on the earth inspiring kalinga serpent radha krishna lakshmi narayana parvati parameshwara and saraswati brahma too then we saw asita rama and lo we heard the name of satyabhama and saw her we are blessed by vision of baba's invisible call of mohini the form that vishnu once assumed of prahlada yearning for narayana and immediately thereafter narsimha killing hiranyakashipu also vamana parasurama and buddha too baba showed us the killing of sisupala saindava and of the rakshasas there was a scene of the lord bringing the parijata flower the picture then changed to one of Panduranga and Narada and his ecstatic praise of the Lord. The next one was Navanita Chora, the Balakrishna stealing butter, and after that the killing of Abhimanyu by the wicked Kaurava chiefs, and last there was the magnificent Maruti of Shirdi Baba himself. How can we ever forget those shining forms, so full of vitality? and life that glowed before our eyes on those two sacred days really unbelievable indeed they are all on record collected from the first hand information raju's fame spread everywhere tamiraju began writing sri sai nada shatakam a collection of 108 poems on shirdi baba which took shape as a printed book In 1944, at Tamira's request, Razu was to go on one evening to his house to go through the manuscript. Razu's folks did not like the idea, perhaps because they had a lurking taboo against the Muslim Baba of Shirdi. So they compelled Razu to join them instead for the evening show of a bioscope, a local term. those days for the cinema 
Razu never liked to visit cinema house. He had no choice but to go with them. But strangely, the dynamo, the source of electricity for the cinema, failed and there was no show, either in the evening or at night. And all of them returned home disappointed. A family member developed a severe asthmatic attack at night and could not be relieved only by Razu's Vibhuti medicine. See, this is all unbelievable. All the characters mentioned in all of our epics are demonstrated by Bhagavan. He himself transformed into those characters and gave to the family members and others that gathered there. What a mighty power of a Bhagavan. Once Razu sent Kameshwarama a picture of Shirdi Baba to which she started performing puja every day, a bumblebee carried it to her. Sometime later, the baby monkey brought a cloth bag and dropped it near her on the balcony where she was drying her special puja sari. The bag contained a laddu as prasadam and a letter written by Razu congratulating her on her devotional puja. In her prayer room was an air gift from Razu, a six-inch square gerua, meaning ochre cloth worn by Shirdi Sai Baba when he went into Samadhi. Razu and Kameshwarama were indeed very close and she wrote in her memoirs of her daily acceptance of Razu as a divine being. Kameshwarama used to do Purana Kalakshepam, narration of stories from scriptures every day. At that time, Razu would bring his brother's children, supposedly for tutoring them, but actually for giving them a chance to hear the inspirational stories. Vishal Akshama, the wife of Razu's old neighbor, Kasi Bhatla, Sirama Murthy, was also a great devotee. The couple already had been devotees of Sai Baba of Shirdi and even visited Shirdi. She used to worship him in the company of Kameshwarama, the wife of Tamirazu. Vishalakshama had a soft corner in her heart for young Razu. She adored him and used to feed him so often that her house became a second home for him. Kasi Bhatla, Sri Ramamurti, was a stern and temperamental man. He would confide later, at times, when I saw young Satcha, I would not hesitate to show my authority and shout. According to Kasi Bhatla Sri Ramamurti, in order to avoid his anger, Razu would go in through the back entrance, eat whatever was offered to him by his wife, Vishalakshama, on a leaf and take away the leaf for disposal. In those days, the Murthis were particular about caste and customs. We were Brahmins and would not touch things used by people of other caste. It was also surprising how Satya came to live in this street at all, since this was a Brahmin street and generally others were not allowed to live there. However, Kasi Bhatla never stood in the way of his wife's prayers and worship. She is one of the very regular people who attended Bala Sai's young Sai, as he was also known in those days, Thursday's bhajans. She also offered him worship privately at home as she instinctively divined his latent divinity. She even showed her faith and devotion openly without minding any criticism. Among many other things, young Razu had materialized a picture of Shirdi Sai Baba for her for the daily worship. Years later, when it was time for the marriage of Kasi Bhatla's daughter, his wife Vishalakshama was to advise her husband to go and meet Sai Baba at Puttaparthi. Kasi Bhatla was to confide later to his son Rama Krishna Murthy that he wondered if Baba would recognize him. His wife, however, suggested that he mention her name. Baba was sure to respond. At Puttaparthi, Baba did respond, citing Kasi Bhatla. He walked up to him and said, So you have come, 
regarding your daughter's wedding. He assured him that there would be no problems. Sure enough, everything fell into place. Sita Rama Rao would remember having seen Razu wear a locket of Shirdi Sai Baba and that he often would go into trances as indication of his coming back to normal consciousness would be his saying something like, I am hungry. And everyone got back their old playmate Razu and they would indulge in their usual pranks with him. But when Razu was in a trance, he was completely different being, far above their reach, and they automatically addressed him as Swami. Karim Saab was another classmate of Razu. He narrates an interesting incident for which no corroboration by others has been forthcoming. During one drill period, what happened was this. When the children were all free, Razu was playing about in front of the school building. He beckoned his friends to join him, but none did. And the hard ground was strewn with thorns and thistles. The hesitation of the children changed to excitement when they saw that wherever Razu placed his foot, little tufts of the tulsi plant instantaneously appeared, forming irregular, thick, soft patches all along the way. It was October and the school had just closed for the Sarah festival. Seshama Razu's wife, Sushilama, went to her mother's house in Kamalapuram with their two young children. Razu and his brother stayed behind in Oravakonda. One day, there was a telegram for Seshama Razu saying, Baby serious, come immediately with Satcham. They were having lunch when telegram arrived. Instantaneously, Baba went into trance. When he opened his eyes, he said, She'll be all right by the time we reach Kamalapuram. This proved correct for the child was playing when they reached Kamalapuram. That evening, his wife explained, at 11 o'clock in the morning, a sadhu came. He must have just got down from the Bombay Madras train, for he said that he came from Shirdi. He gave vibhuti and blessed the child, who became well again soon enough. Seshamarazu remembered his brother's trance exactly at that time in Uravakonda and knew who the sadhu was. Razu stayed for some days in Kamalapuram where many had the chance to see his miraculous powers. We'll meet again in the next session. Thank you for your time.